We also wanted the range, the distance traveled, right? Okay. Let me ask you this. What's the height going to be when it smashes into the ground, assuming horizontal ground, which is what you're going to assume unless you're told otherwise? Zero. Oh. So the range, which is the horizontal distance travel, what could we do? We could, what could we set equal to zero to get the time? We, we want to get the T value such that when we plug in the T into um, our position function, we can find that horizontal distance travel, the X of T, that is, in our position function. So what, what, would, what, what, what would I set equal to zero here? Just Y of T from the position function, right? So we're going to set Y of T equal to zero and solve for T. And that'll be how long the thing is in the air, or that'll be that T value that we get, the, the relevant T value that we get will be the, the T value at which it's hitting the ground, right? Okay, so that means we're going to take Y of T. Oh, what's Y of T? Oh, this guy. So 3 plus 400 radical T, 2T, let me say that again. 3 plus 400 radical 2 t minus 16 t squared. So 3 plus 400 radical 2 t minus 16 t squared. And we're going to set that equal to 0 and solve for t. Doop. Yep, you got to copy things down, right? Otherwise, it's hard to get the right answer. Oh, well, there's your quadratic formula for you, right? So, all right, let's plug it in the quadratic formula. I know. T equals what? <laughs> okay, so the opposite of 400 rad 2, that's B, plus or minus, well, not sure how much the minus is going to help us. Plus or minus the what? So 400 radical 2 squared minus... 4AC. So what's A in this case? 16. Well, yeah, negative 16. And then C is actually, in the order I wrote it, it's all backwards from what you might be used to, right? So it's 3, right? Everybody buy that? And then all over 2A, which would be? Negative 32. All right. Pull out your calculators. Have fun with this. Use your quadratic formula program if you have it. Round it to the nearest tenth. It's not going to be a nice number, so just round, round it to the nearest tenth. If there's a negative root, ignore it. So do we have confirmation? I don't remember what it is. Do we have confirmation on that? 35.4? So I need more than one person saying yes. So 35.4 what? Seconds. Always keep in mind what units you're in, and then you'll remember if you're finished or not. Oh, wait, we want a distance. We don't want seconds, so we know we're not finished, right? Okay, so what do we do with that? And you might want to round a little bit further if, because every time you, you put that in a new formula, you're going to introduce more round-off error, right? So what are you going to do with the 35.4 seconds? Plug it in to which, which one, x of t or y of t? x of t, because we're looking for a horizontal distance traveled, right? So x of t is 400 root um, 2 t. So x of t is 400 root 2 times t. So we're going to take x of approximately 35.4 and introduce some round off error there. 400 rad 2 times 35.4. What do you guys get? Approximately. Very approximate, because we're not being very careful about our rounding. This one's easier than the last one. You guys came up with the last one faster. 20, <laughs> what do you get? 20? 20, what he said? 20,000, 25 feet? Okay, yeah, but that's... 
that's getting a little silly because it, there's going to be a lot of error there. So uh, tw about 20,000, if we round to the nearest 100, we could say, we could say 20,000, but okay, we'll just leave it as is. Uh, 20,000 feet, 20,000, 25 feet, somewhere in there, right? 